Hi, this is Ruprich Gidri with Pro-Life on the Agata La Palaka Network. Let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Tonight, I'd like to talk with you about the rising socialism slash communism in the United States, particularly within the Democratic Party. Now, uh, the Democratic Party, it seems to me, has basically gone pretty much communist. And um, it's amazing that in this day and age that anyone can go talk about communism or socialism and um, people are supporting it. You know, despite hundreds of millions of people dying uh, from Stalin, Chairman Mao, Pol Pot, and the list just goes on and on, the, the, the Vietnam, the war in Vietnam, uh, and people still think that, oh, this is, a, you know, it just hasn't been done right. Um, it's really just mind-blowing that, that there's even a, a platform, uh, you know, for people to espouse these, these stupid ideas. Um, but it, it is becoming a uh, quite quite a threat, you know. I at first thought, well, this is great, you know. Um, it's this is going to kill the Democratic Party, uh, which is the party of uh, baby murder, uh, the pro kill party, uh, just as they were the slow uh, pro slavery party. They're also the pro kill party, and I thought, oh, this is great. It's you know, it's just going to kill their chances of. Uh, getting uh, elected and, uh, you know, the Republicans who are ostensibly pro-life, but honestly, in my opinion, it's mostly just pro-life uh, in, in, uh, in, in word only, not really in action. And they just say that to get elected uh, because everyone in office has the constitutional uh, um, ability to stop abortion. Uh, the Congress, uh, Congress does, the President does, and uh, none of them are exercising uh, this. And this is actually an obligation under their oath of office to defend the Constitution and to defend life in the United States. But putting that aside, uh, this would, uh, the Democrats going socialist and communist would seem to me to help the Republicans. And um, of course, like I said, the Republicans are pro-life, and uh, so that would help the pro-life situation in the United States. But uh, I see now that you know it seems like the the the, the communists and the Democrats are, uh, I guess you know, backed by the mainstream media, seem to be making some kind of little headway, uh, in in the direction of being able to elect officials, uh, you know. Uh, Young, these young uh, Congress people that are in there and espousing you know, the Green New Deal and all these ridiculous ideas, uh, it does show that they they are having some success, unbelievably, but they are. And um, the one thing I'd want to just is, is, is say to everyone is, it's very clear you can you know any communist or socialist person they're basically liars you know. Uh, communists and socialists are only after one thing, and that's power for themselves. Under communism and socialism, only the people in power can do what they want. Everyone else becomes slaves. And that's what these uh, communists in, in the Democratic Party want. They want power, and they want to be able to tell us what to do. Now, I know this is there's a great backlash in the United States against this, but uh, for those people who are so in support of these uh, communists, Barry Sanders and, and uh, their ilk is a question you can ask them. You know, they say they believe in women's rights and they're against racism and uh, they want to help poor people and things like that. But just ask them. Every single one of them, 100% of them, will all, you ask them, well, what about the rights of a, of a, a little human being in their mother's womb or uh, that was a uh, somehow miraculously survived an attempt to kill it in the womb and it it was delivered alive 
And um, but the Democrats believe that, well, that that baby should be killed, you know, uh, strangled to death or drowned or just left to die. So you ask them, you know, what about their rights? What about uh, their right to life? What about their uh, what about the, you know, the 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 races, racism against them? Uh, the inf infanticidal thought and the inf infanticidal uh, genocidal actions that the Democrats take against children. Um, over 50,000 to 100,000 a day in the United States. And this is uh, a holocaust. This is a nightmare. And so if, you, if they're really su for supporting human rights and equality and things like that, just ask them, well, what about the baby in the womb? Uh, don't you support uh, the, the uh, so-called false right of the mother to uh, uh, murder her own child in the womb or hire someone to uh, torture and murder her own child in the womb? And they all say, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. They can't answer it. So this is how you know that they're liars. You just, just ask them. What, what about the rights of the unborn child, the preborn child in the womb? What about them? They, they don't care about their, their rights and their equality. And this just shows, uh, you know, the Democratic Party, as I said before, is the party of pro-kill party in the United States. And this just shows that they're liars, that they don't care about other people. They don't care about human life. They don't care about human rights. They don't even care. They, they can't even care about the most precious in this country, the precious little pre-born gifts from God that are given to us. They say that, you know, it's okay to torture and murder these children and just throw them in the garbage or put them down the garbage disposal. So again, that's all we have time for. And thank you very much for listening to Pro-Life on the Agatala Palaka Network. And until, until next time, Thank you very much for tuning in, and God bless, and have a great day.